me a few seconds. There we go. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ, when I plug my headset in. Love it, love it. More of that, please, more of that. What was that? Twitch, probably needs an update. Watch need an update. Bet, bet. No, it doesn't need an update. Look at that. What? Oh, okay, it's doing the intro. I was so confused. I was like, what the fuck is that noise? All right, chat. Time for us to pick the story. Okay, we unlocked No, and we unlocked Gracia. Honestly, I feel like we should probably do Gracia, because we did uh, Gracia's father last time. Honestly, not sure. I would like to do Yukimuda, but Yukimuda doesn't even evolve in his own fucking storyline. And then Katado as well doesn't evolve in his own fucking storyline. Just, God damn it, bro. Why you gotta be like that, huh? Let's see, let me look, let me look up uh, Pokemon Conquest. Evolving Warlords. There we go. How do you evolve Katado? I can't remember. Do you have to be his storyline or no? No? You can, uh... Yeah, you can actually... Okay, cool. Yeah, I think I might do one of these other ones. I might do Genchio, I might do Kotaro. Actually, I think I might do Genchio. I think that'd be pretty fun. It's been a minute since I've actually used uh, Genchio. You know what? Fuck it. Or maybe I should do Iyasu. Because Iyasu is kind of lame. You know? <laughs> He's lame as fuck, so I might just play as him. Yeah, you know what we'll do Genshio, because Genshio is one where, like, it's not a difficult one, and it's one where, like, I actually remember the voice of the character, so that'll work. No, yeah, we'll do that. Pride and preciousness. It's time for the Tomboy character chat. I hope we're prepared. Genshi Genshio, famous for hating defeat like no other, has a chance to be crowned Aransei's greatest beauty. She's a little in here, and she's like, I don't care about beauty, I want to beat their ass. Lily gonna be her whole pe thing. Times were changing. Sensual Aranse was entering a period more opulent than any it has ever seen before. The beauty of its female warlords had become famous, and there was a growing clamor to find out who was the fairest of them all. Which, how would we learn that through battle? This contest. You're not happy about it, are you, Genchio? Of course not. Being the fairest and mightiest woman is of no interest to me. But if I must go through this before Aransei can be united in my name, Unishige, what is it? You are not to get involved in these battles. My own powers alone shall be enough. <laughs> Very well. Then I shall take a little trip. As you wish. The people of Aransei shall soon learn the name of our clan. It is our destiny! These, ma these battles must be won! Lady needs to chill?
a little bit. Calm her ass down. Okay, chat. So we're starting out way better this time. Yeah, we've got a Shinx, but, but, we're way better off. You know why? Because we actually have some links that'll be worth a fuck. We need flying and normal. <laughs> really? Really? That's the people on my team? <laughs> people that need flying and normal types? I can't go to either of those places. Fuck you, game. Whatever. If I could start this by getting an A, that'd be amazing. I don't think I will. But uh, here's hoping. We shall succeed. Whomever our enemies may be. So we're going to go try to beat Nene first, because if I can get Nene and then get her to get a Zubat, this could be really good. Our pride will not permit defeat! <gasps> what is? How does chat feel about Tomboys? Fair question. I think when you're next to electric types is when sequence does more damage. I can't remember. It's whatever. That sucks. Oh, that stuff really sucks. Fuck you, Beedrill. The worst part, too, is it can poison. Oh, I did. Thank God. This isn't really gonna help anybody, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go for it. Restore the HP, because I don't want Shinx to die. They kind of have to get the final hits for it to matter. Okay. We're looking at 11 here. Hold up. I need to not get a crit. That's my number one, like, goal right now, is not to land a crit. Hmm. Okay, this is super unlikely. Even if I crit, it won't kill. That's good, that's good. So now we actually got Nene on our team. Now is that good? Are you... I hate you so much. I did not realize you had dodge as a fucking ability. God damn it. This game is out here to mock me, I swear. This game is just full of jokes. Watch me. So the worst part, I'm going to get poisoned. No. Okay. I'm going to die to Carnivine. Oh, my God. I know I'm, I know I'm assuming the worst, and I shouldn't, but, like, fuck. How are you doing? You know what? Who cares? Go for it, please. You know what? Yeah, get sequenced. Bitch! Fuck you! Hey, you're pretty good. I'm kind of seeing you, you in a new light. You better be. Okay, let's go and fuck up our boy here. Because he does way too much damage. Actually, I think he's the only one that honestly does a lot of damage. I'm just going to get rid of him now. Get rid of this menace before he kills me. Because I don't know who gave this Beedrill this much damage, but fuck, dude, that shit hurts. Also, why does Beedrill actually do damage in this game? Isn't Beedrill, like, one of the shittiest po Pokemon known to man? Like, isn't Beedrill so bad that a that its mega evolution didn't even do anything to help it? Am I wrong? Like, I genuinely don't remember. Also, my speed being lowered is a tragedy. A tragedy for sure. Yeah, we're probably not getting the Carnivine guy, but I got an A. That was my number one concern. See, the thing is about getting an A on your team, right? Is it? It's not about getting an A on your team. It's about making sure the enemy doesn't get an A, right? Because if the enemy gets an A, then they get a powerful leader and a warlord. But if you get an A, you could possibly get a really strong warlord, right? It's it's about what they don't get 
rather than what you do get. I think that checks out. I think that checks out. I'm sure it makes sense to you guys. Also, I just love the extremely happy rainbow in the background of this the entire time. Just love how unbelievably happy it is just constantly. It's either A gonna run up and hit me, or B it's gonna run over to him and it's gonna get beaten some way. Like, this, that Mareep is playing the craziest mind game right now of trapping my fucking Joltik. Like, it refuses to let, let me play a fair game. It is just going for the most unfair game it can imagine. Third team was uncalled for. This actually might just be a kill. That's fucking... Okay, this, now we can win. Now we can actually win. I was ready to take, like, a horrible loss, but no, we're fine. We're fine. Unless he gets a crit and one-shots me, but, you know, that's... I, I, I can't really stop the bullshit from happening. It is a strategy game. The bullshit happens no matter how hard you try. You know, bullshit just kind of feeds into more bullshit after all. I did not mean to do that. There we go. All right, Joltik. He's our little guy, and our little guy does big things! Damn, he did big damage. I <laughs> wasn't really expecting the big damage, but all right. And we're moving forward. With another Warlord added to our team. Yeah, but she she's uh, she links with Zubat, which is fine. Her linking with Zubat is such a whatever, you know? I think it's not really going to bother me. Hey, thanks. I'll give it all I've got. This is an honor. Please make use of my strength. So yeah, even though I can't get what I need, I can move forward. Now, I don't think I'm going to find Zubat here, but if I go to the flying place, I can. The only problem is I think... Oh no, Aranmaru is next to me. Okay, okay. Oh no, Oichi's next to me. Oh, Oichi, you're about to get dominated. Yeah, no, you're getting invaded right now. You're getting instantly invaded. Because first off, I don't have anything I can really do to help myself here. So I'm just going to invade you and conquer you and add you to my team. That's that's just going to be the start of this. Secondly, I need to get to the next area so I can then get a Zubat. Because right now, I don't think I'm eating a Zubat. I, I think Zubats are only going to spawn like in the... Some normal kingdoms, but for the most part... Yeah, like, not not in the Electric Kingdom. I think the Electric Kingdom actually spawns Electric Pokemon, unlike some other ones, so. Also, we're going to go and buff everybody's attack. Joltik's going to run into combat because he can. I'll save my ability. I want to use it now to get like a really good head start. But like, does it matter? I kind of forgot there's only two Pokemon. <laughs> and one's like, you know, super weak to what I have. So yeah, no, we're fine. We're good. Ding! Attack. Suck the 17 damage! Yeah, I want her to go ahead and use her ability, so might as well just go ahead, go ahead and have her wasted on that. What do you do? Raise the attack for you and adjacent ally for three turns. See, I like those. See, the raising the attack is nice, but, like, there's sometimes when you don't really just, you just don't need the attack. I mean, I don't know. Attack is always going to be useful. It's kind of like a rally inside of uh, three houses. Like, there's a lot of times where it's just going to be worth your time to go for a rally, but... I don't know, I guess sometimes you want to go for, like, a defensive kind of turn rather than just a steamroll moment. Because it, it kind of gives me, like, the, you know, the, the warp vibe, right? Like, you know, you run in, you just kind of warp and then go, go with it that way. 
Whew, my goodness. That shit did not just say 55 damage. That's absurd. I, I'm just kind of in shock at the level of damage it just said. That shit said 33. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Even that, 55. Yeah, we're fine. This is this is the face of someone who's doing just fine. Yeah, we're good. Actually, Oichi's face is the face of someone who's doing just fine. Definitely not someone who's in an absolute fucking state of panic. Um, you don't think my Pokemon are going to get back, do you? I don't know, we'll see. I don't think I'll be able to reach any of the treasure boxes. I can try. Yeah, the full heal will go a long way. We'll see. I gotta see. I'm still worried about the sequence, though. The sequence still makes you do more damage, and I'm scared he's gonna one shot her. Yeah, see, that's that's like a clear as day one shot. Mmm. And that takes her out too. He can't hit her at all. I think it's an L. That's actually an L. That's an L because I put them in a position where they can actually defend. Or, like, not get attacked, I mean. Whatever, I'll just go for the swift victory then. Oh, the sequence is what gave me the instant kill. You're kidding. You're so kidding. I'm a little salty about that because now they're going to walk over and they're going to beat up Shinx. Or they're going to get stunned and can't do anything about it. Or they're going to full heal. What? Actually, what the fuck? Actually, what? See, now I'm kind of mad. <laughs> now I'm a little salty. Whatever. Maybe I can still get the kill and get the, uh, the follow-up. I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. Can I get the kill? It just misses. It activates dodge just because it unlocks the ability just to fuck with me. Defeat is simply inconceivable. Inconceivable! She ran away. Yeah. Gone off somewhere. I just didn't, I didn't beat her quick enough. It was, a, it was definitely a misplay on my part, but... That's okay. That's like one of the most manageable misplays possible, and I did get our hero from our last playthrough. Nice. I could use the shiny stone to actually make her a little bit stronger, but that's okay. We got a at least we got a hundred percent link on the team. Even if it is a normal type, it's a hundred percent link, which can go really, really hard. And I can now get money, so that'll go a long way as well. And there's one less military on the board. One less military we got to deal with, and one more person that can possibly join us, so. Um, I need to get Zubats, though. Any Zubats on the field? Hello, hello. Mm, I'm actually going to do it for gold. That's a really dumb play, especially in this type of playthrough. But I'm going to do it just in case um, a rare person comes along. And I want to have at least 5,000 gold to buy a shiny stone for my, uh, uh, Minchino. Yeah, you have a Drift Loon. You're dead. You're dead where you stand. You're, you're, you're already gone. Um, you, yep, Joltik Marif, doesn't matter. Neither of you are perfect Link. It's fine. Because I think it's, what, normal types and flying types? what I have, like, effectiveness with, so... Or at least people I need to find, anyways. And then fire types as well, so literally nothing I need. Also, the fact that I'm gonna have to go through this, and this, and this, just to get over there. Like, just fuck me. I would go take on Aranmaru, but... Yeah, he's kinda... I mean... Actually, well... 
the poison is really what would help me, right? Like, the poison is what would actually cause me to win. But I'm not that concerned about Hanonmaru, in all honesty. I'm really not. I'm way more concerned about, um, getting Zubat for, uh, for our girl here. Actually, I don't know. I feel like getting Zubat for her would be pretty easy. Either way, I'll just push through here. I'm not that concerned. This, this will be a really easy storyline as I just kind of invade, 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 and kind of get this huge start going. Um, I would worry about getting all the 100% links, but especially on the shorter maps like this where you can't actually control what's going on, it gets really difficult to actually find 100% links, and there's no reason for me to drag it out. I mean, I could, but especially with ones like this where you're not actually going like over the whole map, I just don't bother. Moonmaker! <laughs> but the main people I'll focus on are my 100% links being Shinx and uh, yeah everyone else I actually don't remember how uh, how Genshio evolves I think Genshio has to evolve with uh, Munishige on our team anyways so there's no reason to stretch it out because she literally can't evolve regardless like it's literally not what I need yep so she, she's another one of the ones who can't evolve in her own storyline. Kind of dumb, as I've always said. I think it's really dumb if you can't evolve a warlord in their own storyline. But I guess it also makes sense because you don't want to have to evolve every single person in their own storyline. Could you imagine if you had to do that? Like, every single character could only evolve in their storyline. And, like, you had some really shitty and short storylines. Like, I feel like it, it's nice, at least, that you don't have to do that. But that's fine. Go ahead and run over here. Good old poison jab. See, I have Krogunk. I've never actually gotten his uh, evolution in this game. I actually don't know what its moves or abilities are. At all. It's a complete mystery to me for this game. Like, obviously I know what the evolution is. I can't remember the name. No, Toxicroak. There we go, Toxicroak. But I genuinely don't know what that Pokemon does. I don't think I've ever seen it, even once. Even once. So I'm a little mildly curious. I'm, I'm a, I'm, I am extremely curious, actually. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, no, we're not going to stay in this for super, super long tonight. Like I said, I'm probably only going to play for about 40, 40 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. We'll see how I'm feeling. Right now it's already 349, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm just glad it's not lagging, to be honest. I'm just glad that I can play DS games while on stream. You know, as long as I own the game, that it just makes me happy. That is that is most of that is most of what's on my mind. Take this! Well, you can't hit any of these people, so you're just gonna go take the flag. Yeah, Kit Kat, what are you doing right now on Terraria? I think you said you're lurking while playing a little bit of Terraria. What's our girl up to? Mm, who's ready for zero damage? Look at that. Look at that. No damage. Fuck yeah. I'm pretty sure I can actually outright win right here. No strings attached. Um, I'll actually keep my Pokemon right here in the zone. And then go from it from there. So that'll give me the experience I need, which should boost me to about maybe 20%. It'll be quite the advantage. And th that will allow me to go for the Drifloon kill. Give me the two damage here, which is just going to be a tickle. Maybe damage? No, not nearly enough. Oh well. I tried. I do appreciate that the uh, more electric types you have, the more damage they can do together with the sequence. I wonder if it stacks, like if you have one to your right and your left, if that like makes it even more powerful, you know? Like I genuinely have no idea. 
flinch? Let's flinch. I hate to see it. Actually, I might still have it, because I think I can pull this off. I mean, once I don't really need to capture her, but that'd be pretty cool if I did. Oh, yeah, that's not going to do nearly enough damage. Not nearly enough damage. Fuck. Give sequence. Ew. You know what? This might work. This actually might work. Thundershot, go for it. Not a crit, but that's okay. How much damage will this give? Ah, oh, it's so close! That sucks, but maybe I just crit anyways. Nope, it lowballed me. It really did lowball me like that. It's kind of disrespectful. Well, Drifloon's gonna escape up here immediately. Or shield on Will. Oh, you psychopath. Digging a hole in fi and finding chest. Gotta find a weapon that's better than an umbrella. About ton adventure more to find another cave. Also should get up and get food, but I'm uh, busy adventuring LaMeo. I mean, that's fair. When you're busy adventuring, you're busy adventuring. Like, I can't blame you. It just makes sense. Like, genuinely, it just checks out. Um, are you playing on the uh, original version of Terraria, or are you playing, like, the master mode? Because I actually really like the master mode of Terraria. The one with all the uh, the bonus items and everything. Even though, like, even though it's more difficult, I feel like the, the fact that it has master mode exclusive items kind of makes it as, like, that's the only version I, I would play. Like, even though I've never beaten Moonlord on normal, on normal, I would still only play Master Mode simply because it had unique items. Now, I did play on the, uh, what is it, on the um, version where World Song, the Xbox 360, so, you know, the, the uh, really older version. I did play on that one, but, you know. Also, I forgot to read what uh, No said. She probably said something like, oh, you... You did your best, I see. Fantastic. The wilderness must be explored, a classic. I'm alone in the flat, largest world. Gotta get some shit under my belt. I mean, that's fair. I also like to do the largest world as well. Honestly, is there ever a reason to do any world that isn't the largest world? Because, like, to me, I feel like you would always want to do the largest world. There's, like, never a world where you would not want the largest world, right? Like, I feel like a large world is nothing but benefit. Like, there is no deficit to a smaller world. Even, like, even, just in general. Okay, let's go! We've got one more flag to take. And I shall take it. You flinched me, you bastard. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and clear, clear him out. Audi. Uh, medium or small to get all the NPCs is way easier. Really? Defeat is simply inconceivable! You tell him, Genchio. Damn, I got a 5 point increase. 22 is crazy. Maybe it's because I beat the leader. That's gotta be what it is. It's gotta be. I mean, I'll, I'll accept go. I just. She's just not really worth a fuck, is the only problem. Also, how are you specialized with Poison and Ghost, yet you have the Poison Ghost Pokemon and it's not good enough? Very well. I certainly hope you'll prove worth my effort, though. I'm very much obliged to you. Shall I accompany you with great... I shall accompany you with great pleasure. Not, um... I mean, that's fair. I see, I feel like my issue as well, like, I've never been, like, that smart with my, um, with everything inside of that game. I'm more or less, oh, it's raining! Look at all this rain! 
just made all the water types extra spooky. Elderly gentleman. So I believe now, after the elderly gentleman appears, everybody starts invading each other. He's like kind of the last thing before people start fighting. I hate fighting this psychic place, man. Pisses me off. Is there a goal bat in any of these places? Probably not. Oh, there's a whooper. Not a whooper. There's Oichi. That's not really going to help me out, is it? Well, I guess it could, technically speaking. Only two dragon type Pokemon now. Let me see. Let me see. What's their what's their health at? I think my health is still below 40, right? Yeah, most of my Pokemon are still below 40 health. I refuse to fight the dragon Pokemon when my Pokemon have less than 40 health. That's just kind of like, you know, self-respect, basically. God, I didn't make it to Avia. The sooner the better. And I think Kai needs Darumaka, but Darumaka's not going to pop up anywhere either. Aya needs Frostlass and Snorunt, and that's not going to pop up anywhere either. So really, there's just nothing I can do right here. I think I might just go to beat Genshio's storyline quickly rather than, like, you know, anything special. I think I'm just going to go for speed. And you know what? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go for beating it efficiently. And what do we got here? So we got fire, um, fire, ground, rock, poison. that kind of is an issue now. I kind of, I can see where that could be a problem. Let me do the poison type, because that's all psychic types. And Nene can uh, definitely lead that charge. Um, and I'll let Shinx and Drifloon and them go for this one. That'll work, because I don't really want to run any electric types here. Electric type would just not do very good. Bug does a lot versus them, though. And Bug would not do anything to ground. Hmm. Well, Ghastly would work way better, because it can harass them from afar. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll attack with those four. I think, I think we got this. I think we got this. We're going to go in with uh, Nene, Mencino, and Beedrill. I feel, I feel like this is a... All right, let's give it all we got. I think I think we have quite the advantage with those guys. There's no there's no way we fucking lose this. Oh, it's already four. Well, it's already been about the time that I was going to spend playing this, but that's okay. I'm going to go a little bit further. Like I said, I already took my shower, so I'm not that concerned. And as long as I get off before five, so... Even if it's a you know this one this this battle or another it should be good. I'll do at least this battle. Mood maker. I won't overexert myself since I have been offline for quite a few days. I mean to be honest, I was only offline like I said, just because of the uh, you know the driving, the lack of sleep, and then the excessive uh, working as far as like uh, at my retail job. And then I wasn't going to get on today because I had something very emotionally um, intensive happening today. So, But I decided, um, you know, since usually streaming puts me in a better mood, I'm just going to stream because that's, like I said, that's what puts me in a better mood. So, I don't know about you guys, but like, see... 
I, you guys tell me like you hop in this hop in the stream like you know the streams and stuff will put you in a better mood but genuinely genuinely it's like it's definitely a, it, it's a thing for me like I hop in my streams it really puts me in a good mood I, I like I am not lying about it either like that is why like I will never be like it's a, it feels like a job particularly or anything um like I feel I do feel as dedicated as if it was like a job that I do feel but like when I get on here like I genuinely genuinely look forward to the stream no matter what it is it is like the i want to i really want to i'm gonna go ahead and take him out yeah get rid of kai um even though you know you're pretty good i gotta hand it to you yeah go and get rid of her yeah i'll do this here um he's probably gonna one shot my b drill no, he's gonna go for the rock slide. It's gonna kill all my Pokemon fucking fool. Oh, well, never mind. He's not gonna do that anymore. I see. We're fine. There's no way he beats up his Ekans. You're actually a dumb fuck. Why did you do that? That was really the stupid move, huh? What the fuck? It's probably the dumbest move I've seen in a while. I don't know what you're trying to do. And whatever you're trying to do, it's just, it's not gonna work. Oh, you're super dead. What the fuck? Oh, because it's a bug type. Wait, Rock doesn't... Does Rock not resist bug? What the fuck? Aren't you a Rock ground type? There's some type of weird overlap here. And you know what? I am totally fine with that. If it wants to have a weird overlap and allow me to win, I will happily take that win. Three hits. Three hits, that's game. Three hits, that's game. Three hits, that's game. Easy. A three-minute fight. Hey, we won! Anae is so proud of her team. She's just happy to be here. This is what total and absolute victory looks like, by the way. You know what? I actually think the Rock Kingdom does spawn Zubats because it has a cave. Thanks a lot! I won't disappoint! Yeah, no, our army has increased in size. Everyone's energy went up. Damn. I might go for another battle then, because that took four minutes. <laughs> it took literally no time. It took zero time. I'm absolutely about to win. Um, I do have to worry, though, a little bit about this one. This one's not going to be nearly as clean-cut victory. I actually know, because I have more people than I realize. So I've already defeated, what, three other warlords... Um, I am a little worried about Aranmaru, but that's just because, like I said, since he has Dragon Rage, he kind of has, like, a huge advantage on us, so. That's really the only big issue. There's no need to hurry. Let's take our time and enjoy it. Ladies of Sadistic, fuck! Am I into it? I don't know. I guess that's the first question you need to ask yourself. Am I into it? Our pride will not permit defeat! You know will also not permit defeat? The fact that they have no way to fight back. <laughs> the fact they have, you know, abras and shit. That will also kind of not permit defeat as well. Like that, the type of defeat is just, it's, it's kind of sad, honestly. right here. Oh boy, Abra. Abra, Abra, Abra. You better pray. You better fucking pray, because I have a ghost-type move heading straight for your ass. Oh, they're sending out the Cub Chew. Smart move, smart move. No, no Cub Chew on the offensive? All right. Oh my God, it's a near one shot. That is some <laughs> ghastly damage. I know, I know, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I know you guys asked for this. 
and I bet you're proud. Hi, welcome in, Luna Amethyst. Welcome in. Welcome into the edgy gamer is about to fucking murk this poor Cubs you in the 1v1. And this 1v1 is going to be like a 1v4. How you doing, Luna? How was your Thanksgiving? How are you doing this evening, specifically? I, that was a waste of their ultimate, but that is okay. I'm fine with that. Ow. What the hell was that? fuck did your special ability do? Is that like a restore? God stuff? Like what? I don't understand. I don't care. Whatever. We shall not surrender for Lady Genshio's sake. Witness my power. Ooh. Six. What do we got here? Ah, status ailments. It really, uh, at the end of the day, doesn't matter. All of I'm so fucking stupid. That's fine. This is this is manageable. This is manageable. This is manageable. I'm just gonna have to do what I did not want to do. Which was this. That crit hit is gonna be exactly what fucking saved me too. That's fine. You know why? Cub 2 is immediately going to go for the flag, and that's going to be their downfall right here. And Sequence is a son of a bitch! Gotcha! Yeah, no, that's game. Just use Carpet Sand Remover for the first time. You know, as much as I've lived in, um, in Carpet most of my life, um, like, I really don't know much about it. I know how to clean it, but, like, that's about it. That's... <laughs> Like, honestly, I think I'd have a hard time living on a floor that doesn't have carpet at this point. Like, I really enjoy carpet floors. How does chat feel? Is, are we, am I talking to uh, carpet floor lovers? Am I talking to some carpet floor haters? I did not mean to do that. Okay, good. Okay, good. Little worried it was going to be a crit out of nowhere, but no, we're good. We're good. Yeah, because I know with, like, hardwood floors, like, I don't mind hardwood floors, but I feel like hardwood floors are always dirty, and I feel like they're also cold as shit, and, uh, I mean, it's nice that you can sweep everything. Like, I can't, I can't ignore that aspect. Like, it is nice to being able to just sweep. Yeah, yeah, and that is, that's also true. Well, it's usually in the kitchen, in the kitchen you would have, you're not gonna have a carpeted kitchen. <laughs> Or the, you know, the, the carpeted kitchen, carpeted bathroom combo. Like, you like, Jesus. Like, uh, uh, fuck. Nob. Yeah, you get your drink. Yeah. See, Devin, that, you're right. You should keep your hardwood floors in the living room and the bedroom and leave the carpet for the necessary places like the kitchen and the, and the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, Kit Kat, I have to ask. Have you ever even been in a house with a carpeted bathroom? This is some kind of twisted joke! It is a twisted joke. It's exactly what it is. I have to ask myself. Has there ever even been a carpeted bathroom? I don't think there has. And if there has, it's a fucking... That's a war crime. Damn. Okay. I just bodied the fuck out of both of these armies. Just no mercy at all. Did this stream die earlier? No, the stream didn't die. I uh, I switched games for a little bit. I wanted to hop onto a different game just for a minute before I hop off for the night. I'm actually about to, about to be getting off simply because I, uh, like I said, I didn't want to sp stay up super, super late since I... Uh, since I had a little bit of a rough day. But streaming with you guys definitely put me in a little bit better of a mood. 
Oh no, I might go a little bit further. We'll see. Right now it's 4.11 a.m., so... Mm, you also need normal type? Nice. You're really not helping anybody, but that's okay. Moving on. I don't think I asked, Artoria, what are you streaming right now? I think you said you were streaming as well. What have you been streaming? There we go. Genuinely might might be able to win this in like two fights. <gasps> yeah, because that's an ice type! Ice type can fuck up the dragon type. Okay, maybe they won't if they don't attack we win. Ah, the stupid rally bullshit. Well, now it's now we certainly aren't winning. Okay, well she probably won't do anything. She's surrounded. I bring news, Genshio. We're gonna get invaded by No we're not. Alright. I almost come to ask you a favor. For money. Sure, fucking take it, I guess. I don't care. The hell does it matter? Like, it's about to end anyway, so we got... Dragon type. Poison will go a long way with them, so that's good. I don't think fire type would be all that good, though. That'd be good for them. Yeah, the problem is they have a lot of water types. My main issue there. Well, electric types aren't going to do shit versus them, so I'm actually probably going to... Yeah, let's see. Yes. Hmm. Like I said, the issue by far is the dragon, but I think we should be able to get a decent jump on them. Because I have two electric types, which will take out all the water. And I have poison and ghost, which will take out those, and a fire to take out him. Yeah, it's a little bit of it's a little messy. But it's definitely winnable. And we have all of my strongest fighters all in the front lines. But yeah, chat, I'm just wanting to beat this storyline and then probably head on to the next one. I'm not super concerned about um, Genshio's uh, quest line. Like I said, especially since she can't evolve in her own storyline, it's just kind of like, whatever. Okay, now you, listen up, all right? Okay, Nene, I'll listen up. Yes, ma'am! I would risk my life for this land. Ina, develop a personality and check with me later. You dumb bitch. I'm just saying, if it was between listening to Ina spout her anime bullshit, we're getting bossed around by Nene. It's definitely getting bossed around by Nene. 100%. 100%. Increases range and makes enemies flinch, which is fantastic for Flame Burst, because it gives Flame... Flame Burst has a crazy... Um... Has a crazy, like, you know... Range, like ability to hit everything. My bad. Fuck. I don't know why I cannot talk. Also, I don't think I've ever seen a. Sim I don't think I've ever used a semi sage, a semi seer, or a or a uh, semi poor. I think is what it's called. I don't know. I don't even think I've seen a semi poor or a semi seer. I've seen a semi sage. I think you see one in the base game. The weird uh, grass monkey. <laughs> but I think uh, what is his name? Nobunaga has one on his team. I do believe Mr. Nobu does use one. No, we're going full advantage on the uh, on the attack up. That's what we're going for. Maybe I can pull this off. If they can get in a row and I can poison Ina, because I don't want to I don't want Ina to join. I just need to defeat her. And that's a good spot for her, thank God. That, oh, they put Nashawat over there? Oh, we're fine. Good. So I can really focus in on beating Ina then because. Yeah, they're gonna they're just gonna get caught, caught in the crossfire. And the axe he was fine, they're just gonna get pulled. What the fuck are you doing? 
mean, waste, waste your turn. Waste your turn if you need to. If that's really what you want to do, I can't really tell you what the fuck to do. If you want to be stupid, that's none of my business. Yeah, 100% poisoning that axe you right now. Alright, let's get things going. Yeah, taking him out, 100%. He's already down. Not my problem. Okay, this game pretty this pretty much just became a win already. Yeah, no, this is definitely a win. Flame burst, now it's the time! It's time to drool. You know, it's so funny listening to some more Pokemon stuff, talking about like Mega Beedrill and everything. And it's funny to me, like apparently Mega Be Beedrill being so bad that Mega Beedrill, even at, like I said, Mega Evolution and everything, is literally just useless because the base Pokemon is just that bad. Like it is that incapable. Yep, going to get that 20. There we go. And more than likely, Quagsire is just going to one-shot for a little uh, Pichu here, which is just going to be a huge advantage to me. Worst case scenario, they actually go for taking out Krogon. But I think I can prevent that if with one slick move. Being this right here. Now he can't fight. Now he can't hit Krogon. So he has to go for... Um, I think Beedrill, which is still not good for me, because that's one of the Pokemon that I was going to use to beat them, but, yeah, no, they get they get mad cornered here in a second. Yeah, no, nine, that does not matter. Does not matter. At all does not matter. So, they're going to run this way. Never stood a chance. Um, ooh, are they in range? I wonder. There's no way they're in range. Get, get blocked. Nope, not in range. That's fine. Um, he already did the attack, so I'm just going to run in, take him out. So I'm not going to get the advantage from the poison. Like I said, it's going to be a slow process trying to get the poison to proc and everything. But it is definitely doable. Also, this being bug, that'll certainly help as well. Land that poison! Damn it. No poison at all! Why do you hate me so much? Oh well. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just make him flinch then. This doesn't do any damage, but I'm gonna go for it. Who cares? The two damage. It's literally just a fire. It's just a firecracker. Doesn't, doesn't even do any damage. Just scares the shit out of them. Why, why else would it make them flinch? Oh, goodness. I wonder, like, what made them pick all these different Pokemon for, like, all the different Warlords to be close with, you know? Like, I wonder if any of them are, like, kind of... Like, if they actually thought about the Warlord from Ancient Japan whenever they did that. If I knew more about the Warlords and their history and everything, I'd give a lot more feedback. But, like, I just don't know, you know? Like, I genuinely have very little, like, understanding of these guys. Like, even, even at base, like, I just don't... Like, I just don't know. No idea, no idea. I'm willing to learn more though, because uh, I think I think there is a Dynasty Warrior that goes over um, ancient Japanese wars. Um, I can't remember which one it was though. It might just be all of them. I have no idea. But I do remember at least one of them doing that. Um, I actually, I think Devin said early, uh, when I was talking about it, I think he said they usually t they usually cover um, Chinese, ancient Chinese wars, which I was surprised because I really could have sworn that the um, um, Dynasty Warriors was like Japanese stuff. But like I said, I've never played one, or at least I don't think I have. I think I've played like a demo of one before, but like that's it. You know, like very, very minimal. Also, I... If I remember correctly, I think the only thing you unlock from beating Genchios is uh, Munishige, so nothing like particularly fancy. I mean, his would be very easy simply, or really, simply due to the fact of, um, 
what is it? We already have his perfect link, and it's fully evolved, so... That really would make it super easy. Alright. I'd also like to do uh, an on Madus, but I think... I don't know how you can unlock it on Madus either, and I'm pretty sure his is the same one as we're doing right now, so... We'll see, we'll see. We're gonna go ahead and invade. Um, I wanted to at least have the, yeah, I'll save the ice type and everything, so. We'll see what we're based off of. So right now we've got an ice type, so that's that goes a lot, that goes quite a distance. The ice type takes out the dragons, grass, and uh, yeah, the dragon, the grass, and the ground, I think. So, uh, you're not gonna do anything. You're not gonna do anything. I need you, because you're the higher level one. You're actually able to do something. Poison could work on them, but they're not really poisonable is the only issue. Rock can help out with him. Rock is really in it. Well, no, he's solo level, though. That doesn't matter. But Rock works on everything except for Carnivine. You know what? Bare minimum, sleep is a distraction, so... Who cares? Let's finish out this campaign. I've already decided to stream for an hour. We're going to stream for an hour, and we're going to beat this shit right now. Genshio is such an ambitious ruler. She started up the battle and immediately pushed everybody off the battlefield before they even decided to retaliate, because she is that much of a crazy warlord. She has no patience. Trap good. I think we're good too. So I think we're actually in quite the advantage right now. That's really good, especially if they stay behind that ball. I don't think they will, but they might. I don't think they will though. They're all probably gonna line up right here. Yeah, they're all just getting in the lineup. Or maybe Dratini will stay behind it. And if Dratini stays behind it, that's cl that's mad game for Dratini here. Dratini's done. Yeah, you're done, Dratini. You got the double ball treatment. You're about to get both balls straight to the face. All right, chat. Who's ready? Restores HP. Let's give it a whirl. All right. Please do a lot of damage to Rutini. At least do 10. That's all I ask. 11 is stellar. Um, I think they have a full heal, though, is what I think on Madu's ability is, so... We'll see. Either way, this is going to do a lot, so I don't really care. And I have an Ice type, so like I said, once again, don't really care. And if I can get at least one sleep, this will be legendary. That's the wrong one you need to put to sleep, but at least you put him at least one, so. Take this, okay. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Bet. Okay, I just have to not get killed by the rock type. That's really the number one concern. Um, I'll probably... I'll probably move my Drifloon over to the right, and I'll just take out the... Damn, are you serious? You know what? Fine. Fuck you. Get this Pokemari off my battlefield! I'm done playing Pokemari with you. No, I can't hit that over to him. I wonder if any of them is going to come over here and beat, uh, beat my Shinx this way. Either way, as long as I get down just the Dragon types, we're good. Ooh, wait, does Rock do bonus versus Ice? I don't know. That might have been the wrong play. That might have been the really wrong play. Also, he's about to get the guarantee hit on Minchi uh, Minchino and um, our boy here. Mm, 
I knew something like that was gonna happen. Oh yeah, I, I knew that play was coming out, regardless. It's okay though, that's okay. This is doable, this is doable. Okay, we're good, thank God. And you suck! And you're fucking hot garbage, dude. I'm going for the full heal right now. Full heal or we're taking this L immediately. That's tragic. That's extremely tragic. Oh, you do bonus damage? Bet. Literally, Cub Chew just one-shots all of them. Yeah, because, I mean, technically, I don't have to recruit them. I just have to beat them. Which is, you know what? Love it. Love the synergy. Love the energy going on right now in the battle. Also, I love that the fucking... Okay, first off, we killed them with not even our attacks. We killed them with the Poke Mati Balls. Secondly, the Beedrill is still just asleep in the corner. They're just still not participating. Yeah, no, I, if... I wonder if, if the AI could get mad at people on its team. This one is pissed at that Beedrill. Pissed! Yeah, no. Bro's done. Pretty sure my hit... My Pokemon's about to- Oh my god. You're kidding. I know exactly how I want to play this. I'm gonna hit him there. Hit him from the side. Hold on, Madu. You fought valiantly. I'm kidding. You sucked. You were terrible. You never stood a chance. Not even for a moment. You may not have flinched, but you're gonna wish you did. Because now you're done! Powder Snow! Take this subtle cold wind. I'm literally just holding ice in front of a fucking room fan. It's blowing the tiniest bit of chill. T take this opening the freezer door amount of damage. I haven't graduated to smacking you with an icicle yet. We're still at slightly open, leaving the fucking freezer door ajar. You know, the real powerful moves. The real move set. Oh, goodness. I do not need to be yawning. Okay, and I think that's game. That is a whole campaign done in an hour. I'm pretty proud of myself. Honestly, I'm glad we got Genshiyo's over. Like I said, hers wasn't going to be that interesting. Both her as a character and her storyline. I don't really like the beauty ones all that much. I think it just sucks because every single... It's because it, like, it just revolves around a bunch of people that you can't get the fucking stuff for. Like, you can't get the proper thing for anybody, so... That's where my hang-up about it is. Sensual... Central Anse is under my command, and yet ten more kingdoms remain. The path ahead is long and hard. <laughs> you know what else is long and hard? Hmm, that doesn't sound like you. Munashige! You're back? I am. I wanted to see your face again, Gen Genshiro. Genshio. I... You... Cease your tomfoolery! There may be ten kingdoms left for you to conquer. The armies that protect them are nothing special. It's only a matter of time before you unite this region, Genshio. I, I, I know that! <laughs> it would appear that you still do not need me then. I shall take my leave. Where are you going? Wherever the wind may take me, I suppose. And so, Genshio... 
who had won the contest among the female warlords, set her sights on the whole of Ransei, and steeled herself for the battles that lay ahead. Honestly, I gotta say, I genuinely think all the, pretty much all the, all the people they chose for the, uh, beauties of Ransei are actually pretty, are pretty. Like, in Shio, she's definitely tomboy, but pretty. Kai, she's kind of, like, normal pretty, like, very just kind of normal pretty. Go, um, no is extreme, is really hot, so that's fine. Um, Oichi is adorable, so pretty. Um, Aya. Is that her name? Aya? I think it's Aya. Aya's really pretty. She's got a very smooth look to her. Ina is really the only one I'm on the fence about. Like, I don't think she's that pretty. How much, uh, Bishoujo can this game go? I don't know what that means. You'll have to, you'll have to define that word for me. And I love that Adan Maru is just here for no reason. Poor dude. You know what? He is the most beautiful woman in uh, Adansei. Let let him be the most beautiful woman in, An in Adansei. <laughs> he should participate because I said so. Gotta leave it to the femboy to show the women how to be pretty. It's a damn shame. Damn shame. No wonder Koi Tecmo made this game. Yoshi Hito's story, the final gamble has been unlocked, and Munishige. Wait, who's, who's Yoshi? Oh, Yoshi Hito. Oh, that's Yoshi Hito. Mmm. Okay, okay. How do you evolve Shingen? I can't remember. But yeah, no, I personally fucking love, uh, love this game and its vibe and everything. You gotta complete Kenshin's episode first, and you gotta complete Shingen's episode first. Nice. Okay. I mean, I guess I can get behind that. That makes sense. Let me, um... I might do Kenshin's episode next, just because. Because Kenshin is just winning, like, five battles or whatever. It's super unimportant. And then after that one, I'll do Yoshihito. I believe. Yeah, because I think Yoshihito would be a pretty fun one. Because I think he starts with his perfect link anyways. Right? Like, I think Yoshihito, he just starts with it, right? See, so, yeah, I could be wrong. Because Yoshihito is a fun character to play as. Anyways. He's just a big muscle dude trying to do big muscle stuff, you know? Yeah, that's all he's doing. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll see why not. I think that'd be fun. We'll do Yo we'll do Yoshihito's next. I'll just have to um Yeah, no, definitely. We'll do uh we'll do Kenshin and then uh we'll do Yoshihito. I'll go ahead and start Kenshin's now and then I'll get off for the night. I won't actually do anything, but I'll get it started up and saved. For a long time, Adanse was divided between two great warlords. Shingen and Kenshin, the balance of power was always very delicately poised. Genshin! Nemesis, how may I be of assistance? This region isn't big enough for the both of us. We need to settle this once and for all. What do you say? First to win five battles can call themselves victorious? Interesting. I can accept your challenge. Kanetsugu! Yes, my lord. We shall show your right show the righteousness of our army to the world. Let us begin, Nemesis. I still hate that I was okay, I just gotta win. This one's pretty simple, it's just winning five battles. Very simple. I mean I think you have a bunch of people all around. This one's both good and bad, because you literally it's the first to win five battles, so you need to kinda like lock in the ground and the psychic because it's not about you know how much you win by it only matters that you win and that's like oh oh <laughs> goodness but yeah you get Kanetsugu Aya and all that so anyways I said I'd start it um, so I know which one I'll be doing next time we're gonna save 
and we'll be coming back to this. But for now, chat, I thank you all for participating, and I hope you all sleep well. I'm going to go lay down, get some sleep, and uh, go from there. Wait, no, don't quit the story. We're good. I'll just quit in the game. There we go. But yeah, I, uh, I would have stayed on later, but like I said, I had a really chaotic day today, so I'm gonna, I am going to lay down. Um, I did hop on a second game, and I had a fun time with it. I look forward to playing more Pokemon Conquest, but I might just play more Twilight Princess tomorrow, to be honest with you. I hope you guys have a lovely evening, and I appreciate the support and hangout. Like I said, always makes my day better, and I hope the same for you. Have a good night, and as always, 3, 2, 1. Later, losers. You guys enjoy. Aw. Thank you, Artoria Pendragon. I'm glad he, I'm glad even with messy hair and in pajamas, I'm still pretty. Thank you. What is, I've, I have felt like shit the past several months. I'm so sorry, Chad. I've been so underdressed. I think I'm actually going to not wear the beanie and straighten my hair tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. I hope I hope I wake up feeling a little more invigorated. We will see. We'll see. Anyways. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.